Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode number seven of my FIFA 20 first owner road to glory. Um, hopefully that intro wasn't totally crap, even though I think it's crap. If it was crap, then cool. Um, today's episode, obviously, uh, a day behind now, actually, um, from yesterday. Wasn't able to upload a video yesterday because of some schoolwork and some other stuff that came up. So unfortunately, I just wasn't able to upload a video. So first things first, sorry about that. Second thing, uh, thank you all so much for the support that you have all shown on the channel and the videos and all that kind of stuff. It is well beyond what, uh, what I thought this was all going to actually be like. Because genuinely, I I'm not necessarily making these videos to like, I don't know, quote, like get, you know, like get popular or anything like that. Like I'm not making the videos to do that. I'm actually making them, um, partly because with making them, I can get video editing skills and I can also get like photo editing skills as well. So that was, and just like talking because the more that you talk or the more that I talk to some form of audience, even though we're not face to face, like you're still sitting there listening to me. I don't know why, because my, my voice is annoying and I'm an annoying little butthead, you know, 20 some year old butthead. But um, I, it just it helps me like be able to talk to people in public and like public speaking and all of that kind of stuff way better. Um, and it actually because I, I had a brief stint like years ago, like five, six, seven, eight years ago where I kind of sort of made videos, uh, somewhat regularly <laughs> and put them up on YouTube. I, th I think I had like two subscribers or something like that, but it really did help with my speech, speech stuff. And so that's kind of why I'm doing it again, just kind of helps with my skills. But I guess one of the byproducts of uh, trying to make good quality content is people actually want to watch it. I don't know why. Oops, I accidentally hit the mic. Hopefully that didn't kill people's ears. But I don't know why. But whatever. I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to say thank you. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for the support that you have been showing on the channel. What you are seeing here initially in this video is uh, a kind of my trading method for right now. Um, throughout the course of the week, I've just been kind of trading with engine chem styles. I haven't really branched out into anything else, just engines at this point. I could do anchors. I could do, oh, there's a cut like the, the more, not like, not the ones that are as expensive as shadows and hunters, you know, those that they're like 15,000 coins for some, uh, for some reason, they are just so overpriced. I don't understand why instead of just increasing the price to 15,000, why they don't just improve the drop, the drop, uh, weight of them or the drop rate of them, because Obviously, if they're 15,000 coins, then, and they're extinct at 15,000 coins, then something is wrong with, with their weight, and it needs to be fixed. But that aside, I am trading with chem styles throughout the week. I'm just getting, you know, maybe 50 coins, like 25 to 50 coins per card profit, which is still profit. But it's not the thousands and thousands that other people get when they trade, um, trade informs and stuff like that, or just gold cards and you put chem styles and stuff like that on them. I forgot what it's called, but where you like max out their contracts, max out their fitness, maybe you change their position, and then you put a decent chem style on them and you sell them for like 20% more than what you bought them for or what the lowest bin, what the lowest buy it now is you sell it like 20% more. I I could do that, but it just that 
it takes a lot of time and I don't want to call myself lazy but it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of concentration and a lot of effort on my part to actually work at it and um, make a good chunk of coins when I can simply just throw up some bids on chem styles or fitness cards or squad fitness cards not the single ones the squad fitnesses throw up some some uh, bids on them throughout the week collect some and then during the weekend because it's the weekend league they go up in price i mean they might not go up in price an absurdly large amount especially for squad fitness cards but they'll go up a couple hundred coins every single weekend they do and then not, it's not usually about this time i'm not exactly sure because I, I i did it way back at the beginning of the game at the start of the game and made a decent chunk of change off of it and then i just got i got fed up with the game and fed up with kind of how ea was handling a lot of stuff so i left but now i'm back and i don't really know the the best time to purchase things anymore because back then it was it was usually usually around rewards time and late at night you got pretty good deals now i i i want to say it's still kind of that but it's I, i'm not exactly sure so so i'm still kind of without trying not to sound terribly nerdy um analyzing everything and trying to get the best deals and get the best times of when to invest my coins and then when to sell them just like squad fitness cards should i buy them today because right now it's thursday at like 3 30 when i'm recording the voiceover for this should i record should i buy them all today or should i have bought them on tuesday or maybe yesterday at noon or whatever noon my time when informs were put into place i don't necessarily know and that's up to me to actually um put the time in and put the effort in into learning that uh and if i do then the account will 100 percent benefit from the from the work that i put in but uh for now i'm just going to buy just going to continue to buy and do some chem style flipping or consumable flipping that was really long-winded <laughs> that was really long-winded and i felt like i babbled there for a little bit so if i if it feels if it seems like i babbled a lot or if i still am babbling or waffling i'm sorry i'm just apologizing a lot in this in this video um but we are still trying to i think this is with my prem team yeah it looks like it is finishing up the premier league icon swaps uh playing with nine first over first owner first owner premier league players in order to get the icon swap token which we will actually use at the very end of this episode so uh, it's also probably in the title so you should know by now of what what's in store for the end of the video and speaking of that um no no i'll talk about that in a little bit i don't i don't really want to well no screw it so end of the video uh, and it's going to be in the title as well um we did choose to pick uh prime moments litman in and the reason why i did it is because i looked at my what was it my syria and my league un league un league one i don't know whatever you want to call it i looked at those first owner squads and they were just they were trash like i had a bronze striker in my french league team i had silvers galore in it i just i needed an extra because if i got litman in then i could play cordoba on seven chem because and i could actually get him up to eight chem if i wanted to use a colombian manager or a bundesliga manager 
or like a Colombian French League or Colombian Syria, I could get him up to eight chem, which is a pretty decent boost, especially with when the team chemistry is 100. That is a pretty big, pretty big boost onto his card with that sniper chem style. So that is that. That's pretty much the biggest reason why I went ahead and did. Uh, did what's his name did Yari Litmanen's prime moments card I still plan on doing the prime icon pack um because I still plan on getting like 22 I think yeah it was 22 22 of the icon swap tokens or icon swap players whatever you I don't necessarily know what to call them tokens they're not really tokens because they're actual players that you get and you put into your club they're they're actually still bronze players they're just all 60 rated but whatever, I don't, I'm not a genius by any stretch of the imagination. Um, yeah, and there you go. There's more, more engine chem styles that I'm selling to lazy buyers. Some of them I'll put up for like a thousand, some I'll put up for 750 all the way up to a thousand because once, once it gets down to a certain point, it's just, you, you know, it, there's lots of lazy buyers out there. I've done it multiple times throughout my FIFA career. I'm sure everybody's done it. Nobody is 100% efficient with every single thing that they do with their with their ultimate team club. We're all we're all guilty of it. But back to um the icon swaps stuff or deal thing. Uh, if you want to call it that I am still going to get the prime icon pack I don't plan on just not getting it I think because the prime icon pack is nine tokens and then Puyol is nine tokens as well the only and I really wanted Puyol but I don't think I'm going to be able to get him because I have 22 you take off six for Lippmanen. Obviously, that is 16 left. As we pack, I think, actually, our first walkout of the, like, non-special walkout of the account with, uh, not David Silva. What was it? Bernardo. Yeah, Bernardo Silva. And, like, that's one heck of a pack right there. You got three, three of them cards. Or Gervinho, a UCL card. Uh, that was one heck of a pack. Um, but it'll leave me with 16 tokens left, which means if I want the prime icon pack, that'll leave me with seven. So I'm leaning towards getting, um, getting Gattuso as my, as my CDM. And speaking of Gattuso, this person had, um, Gattuso in the midfield as their CDM also had Crespo as their CDM. And for some reason, I had issues with this team. I had so many issues breaking this team down and scoring. Ultimately, I did score. I did put two past the guy, and he did quit. But it was just like... It, it felt like you can already kind of tell just like how passing around the back and stuff like that. Or I guess not passing around the back, but... Um, just like the, the, my opponent wasn't a terrible player, but was using Crespo at CDM and Crespo was actually doing really well, which that just, that shouldn't be the way that it goes. <laughs> Hernan Crespo is a striker. He's not a CDM. I, my mind just gets blown from time to time and here's the second goal that I put past him and then very soon after that my opponent decided that they didn't want to continue to use Crespo at CDM and I don't know if I, th I think I no I don't I don't look at my opponent's team I was just baffled by how uh, how good that is their team blade or his team blade um but obviously still, yeah, like, and I'm still working on FUT Champs qualification. 
it's just getting that 2,000 points is such a freaking ball ache. And I play. I was trying to play last night. Um, yeah, last night. Uh, for more icon swaps tokens, and it just. Uh, I didn't want to play anymore. I didn't even play any squad battles or any friendlies yesterday, so I st- I'm behind on that because I want to minimum get elite three for squad battles because the rewards are fairly fairly decent uh oh also i forgot to mention that uh i actually did end up quitting three games that i didn't show because two of the games i went two or three nil down within like 10 or 15 minutes in game minutes and i'm thinking i i'm i'm on a time but i'm on time schedule here like i ain't gonna be sitting here for 10 more minutes 10 more real life minutes just getting absolutely pummeled for a few division for a few points i ain't gonna be doing that kind of stuff and so i quit those two games and then um oh i did actually no this wasn't yesterday this was the day before this was me completing the samba 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 squad um single player objective Mm, excuse me oh my goodness wow that didn't feel good um but (laughs) i completed the samba squad and uh yeah i quit two games and then the third game the guy had 11 ucl players and they were all just totally just they weren't there was no chem whatsoever like obviously this guy was having a rough time and he messaged me was like hey man could you could you like give me a win or you know would would you take it easy on me that kind of thing you know i've been really struggling um i've been really struggling with all this like could you could you help a guy out and i felt bad so and i figured maybe i could get some good good karma out of it all so i scored an own goal and i quit and the guy messaged me just he, he thanked me profusely was like thank you very much like this has been one heck of a grind like this has been rough <laughs> that was my first win and i could tell like he was playing goalkeepers at like left mid and right mid and stuff like that just so he could have you know 11 ucl cards it's insane and speaking of the ucl cards this is the throwback ucl marquee matchups that i completed uh spent a little bit of money on um on what's his name there otamendi and David Louise. We did get rid of Ilkay Gundawan as well. Kind of felt bad about that one considering he was our first boards player on the account as well. Um but we got a few packs instead and again just selling more engines, selling them to lazy buyers. You see those 950s, there's an there's a thousand coin, couple thousand coin ones there. Lazy buyers like you could go on the market and if you took the time you could um go and buy them for like 800 coins 750 800 coins lowest bin and people just don't they just they don't care that it's a couple hundred coins difference and they just they just buy it whatever who cares put on more fifa point you know maybe they have a, maybe they have a lot of fifa points or something or maybe they just have a lot of coins and they just don't care me personally I don't have that many coins, so I'm just going to take advantage of them being lazy. <laughs> Benefits us both, I guess. Um, but generally, the packs that we got back, it filled the club up with more players, with more silver, gold, and bronze. Yeah, bronze is the third one. Those types of players, put them more into the club just to fill it up some more. And again, I think i mentioned this before but the rare gold rare no rare electrum players packs usually are pretty good these ones were kind of doo-doo but at least i think they were doo-doo were they doo-doo was it doo-doo i don't remember hey past self quit looking at lecompte he's like a thousand coins what are you doing just list him up you idiot just list him up (laughs) answer my question dang it 
because I can't remember if this last pack was good or not. Press X. Oh my goodness. Why am I so slow? Yeah, rare yeah, rare Electrum Players Pack. I don't even think I got a board out of it. Did I? No, I didn't. Yeah, no. It was absolute doo-doo. I don't think it was... Eh, I shouldn't say it wasn't worth it. Because there was always the chance of getting something good. We did get Ducore. We did get UCL Conate. So, I mean, that's pretty good. Um, and then here, this next clip that you... Why do I keep looking up stuff? My goodness sakes, I'm so slow. Get to the next part. Get Just get... Okay, here we go. <laughs> My goodness. I take forever. I just... Ugh, whatever. Um, this, we are looking at the trade pile once again sold some more engines it's just it's just the coins coming in um really been lazy on the bronze pack method too i really need to get get back into that kind of kind of lazy um but here we go go to litman in and then we will put in the six icon swaps token player dealy thingies that we have earned and we will get him and we will watch him eventually once we go through these absolutely horrid player menu things. I don't know. This is another gripe of mine of what EA did. It, they just completely neutered the the like player entry system thingy, player manager system thingy, whatever. They just completely neutered it and I absolutely hate it. But... Here we go. Here is, speaking of walkouts, the probably the biggest pull on the account. The Finnish god himself. Um, maybe he's a god. I don't know. I'm not Finnish. I'm not from Finland, I'm, so I couldn't really tell you. All I know is that he is really good for Ajax, I think. Was he good for Ajax? Yeah, he was good for Ajax. I didn't actually show the icon profile, but whatever. That is Yari Littmanen in, into the club, and we will put him into the active squad. And just like I said before, um, have him in there, and then we can get F Birthday Cordoba on 7 chem or 8 chem. But that is going to be the end of the video, and I will see you all in the next video once this one's done. But bye-bye!